What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and you guys might notice by the title the thumbnail picture um, I got a new little something I picked up literally last night uh, I couldn't wait to share this video with you guys um, Really unexpected last minute like I was on Facebook marketplace at like 1130 at night like half dead half awake like Just scrolling through marketplace and I saw this car pop up and the dude had like a really low price and like it didn't he ran he said didn't run and a bunch of other things but i'll just i'll just stop with the talk and i'll show you guys what i got here so here it is 2005 rsx type s she is black on black absolutely slammed on some type of coilovers um yeah so i already have one now I have two, and I had a, I have a third one, my red car, which I've had for like eight years. But you guys don't see it on the channel very often. It's getting a full refresh. But yeah, I didn't expect to be owning another one of these like this soon. Um, crazy good deal on Marketplace. You know, guy just needed it out of his driveway, out of the. It's been sitting for like three years, two years, right? He just was trying to get rid of it. He had another kid his wife wanted it gone so listen to this right this car is a two owner i bought it off the second owner of the second owner right two owners he's owned this car for the last like 12 years or something right so he bought it off the original owner with like 15,000 miles on it so this car now has 177 so the dude i bought it off of has put over 150,000 on this car like he's been the owner this is the owner right so it's been sitting for two years. Um, there's definitely something living in it, like mice or something. Like it smells horrid. Um, other than that, I mean, the headlights need a buff. Bumpers pretty much destroyed. Other than like, there's no major dents on the car. Like it, it needs a paint correction terribly, but it's just really dirty. It's been sitting for two years. This is the only thing in the paint that's concerning is he said he bumped up against it or something happened to where this started chipping because something happened but it's got original quarters not rolled nothing is rolled all oem this is all original right comes with the the deck lid i think this is an a spec deck lid or a factory option but regardless big money these sell for like 300 on marketplace alone so it is a 0506 i'll show you guys the inside of it full black interior it's a little it smells horrid in here so i'm not going to be in here for too long until i i want to wash it and let it air out but full complete black interior right super clean i mean well not clean it smells like terrible but dude, I snagged this car, like literally he posted it and I was on it like the next day, right? Didn't sleep, my boy Keys came, picked it up. So when I went to go look at the car, it didn't run, right? I messaged the guy, he said that um, it doesn't even turn over. Like when you put the jumper on the, bat on the battery and you try turning it over, like it does, the starter doesn't engage, nothing. He said that the car doesn't even turn over. So... I went there, car didn't run, right? I was able to get it to turn over. He said it didn't turn over, but I got it to turn over, still didn't run. And then yesterday when I got home after getting the car trailered here, we got it up to the top of the driveway and I was just messing around with some of the connectors because, let me open this and I'll show you guys. Some of this stuff was just unplugged and it looks like it's been rewired. So RBC intake manifold, it's missing. It's missing that plug there i don't exactly remember what that's for but rbc intake has an engine cold air intake just like the gray car um it doesn't seem to be really leaking anything crazy you know i didn't see any major leaks just like something seeping from the coolant line um it's just really dirty you know something's been making its home in here he said that the car didn't run because of electrical issues and i can see here looks like somebody spliced into the wiring for whatever reason in here um so it definitely needs an oil change i'm going to check the coolant levels but like i said i went to go look at the car didn't run turned over once or twice wouldn't turn on 
got it home, messed with some of the electrical, a couple wires I found broken, the injectors weren't plugged in, and I plugged everything in, and the car fired right up, dude. I couldn't believe it. The car literally turned right on. Um, after I fixed a couple of the wiring issues, like yesterday, I was just messing with it for a couple hours, and I got the car to turn on. The battery is super shot, so that's why I don't have it on right now, because I'm also about to wash it. But the car does run. Um, I wonder if I'll see if it'll start quick, just because the battery's super dead. I had it running for a couple minutes, and I didn't I didn't want the video to be like over encumbered with the sound of this car idling, so I turned it off. But let's see if I can get it to turn back on. I don't know if it'll turn back on. I doubt it. But uh, it's super dead. So, I mean, I'll jump it quick so you guys can see that it does, in fact, actually run. I got it running last night, literally, after messing with a couple of the wires and the, um, the injectors weren't plugged in. And I thought it was going to be like a major problem to try and get this car to run. And it only took me a couple hours and she ended up booting right up. So, super cool. Um... I'll go over a couple more things about the car while I'm hooking, hooking the jump pack up. It's got 176,000 miles, I believe. Two owners. Um, he said that he had a motor put in it and the motor should have 60K on it. He said that he had the motor put in like, I don't know, eight years ago, seven or eight years ago with like 40 or 30 or 40,000 miles on it. And then he put an additional couple. So now it's at 60, but he said that the motors should be at 60,000 miles. And I think the transmission as well. I think he did both. I can't remember, but I think he, he said for sure that the motor was swapped, but the odometer reads 176 here. I'll let you guys see. Right, 0506 Type S. I'm not sure what's good with this. It looks like a sticker. But um, has the aftermarket radio. This shifter is wicked sloppy, bro. I got to do something about that. That thing is like god awful. So other than that, full black interior. I got to find where this button went. I think it just fell in there. I can feel it. It must have just fell in the hole. But look at the dash. Not a single light is on the dash. No SRS, no ABS. The only flashing thing is for the green immobilizer. And you might be wondering why that is. That down there is a K-Pro. So yes, uh, this car came with a K-Pro as well. For, unbelievable. Full K-Pro. I think it's an 0204 K-Pro with the adapter for 0506 because this is an 0506 and it comes with a full spare 0204 type s ecu which is like 500 dollars alone so like when i bought the car let me get it running i'm gonna get it running i'll tell you guys but it's it fires right up So I think it's got some sort of like intake leak or something, something, and that's what the noise is, or maybe the maybe the filter's clogged. But but like I was saying, I when I went to go look at this car and I knew it didn't run, I was gonna buy it for parts alone, right? Because K Pro ECU that's worth anywhere from like nine to twelve hundred dollars. Just the body alone, you know, it's pretty clean besides like the one spot on the quarter panel. You know, the whole car is just worth what I paid for it alone in parts. So even if I didn't get it running and I couldn't sell it as like a running and driving car, I could have sold the motor, the trans, parted it out and made money. But I was really looking to get it running and sell it as a complete running car with a clean title. And as you can see here, she very much runs. So I, I got to do an oil change and check the coolant. So I don't want to let it run for too long, but. It 
it very much runs. This is like, I ran it for like 25, 30 minutes last night. And this is the second time I've run it. And this is the second time this car's run in over two years. So obviously it's gonna have some weird sounds and be a little dirty. But overall, dude, the car is super clean. I got a good deal on it. I'm planning on fixing it up. I wanna get this quarter panel painted, get the front bumper redone. Get, I gotta change out this carpet because it just smells like rat piss. I have an extra carpet in there. So I'll probably just swap out the carpets, um, fix the shifter wobble. I'm probably just gonna leave the seats how they are. You know, pre next owner can figure that out. Um, but today we're gonna give her a full, full wash, right? Get all this crap out of here. Full wash. Pressure wash today, full. So, let's jump into some B-roll, some little before, and then uh, show after, after she's done getting pressure washed. Right, guys uh, i've been washing this car for like two hours um there's some really like stuck pieces of uh i don't even know like tar or pollen or something like little specks just em embedded in the paint that i really had to pressure wash and focus on um wow it looks a lot better now i'm gonna show you guys here in a second but i just wanted to give you a little update it's been like two hours been washing the car all the door jams the whole front back you know it cleaned up really well I think you guys are gonna be pretty stoked on the little wash transformation. Put some soap to it, pressure wash it like eight times. But uh, let's jump into some B-roll of how the car looks now that it's clean. So there's the car all cleaned up. What a transformation, dude. This thing looks incredibly different. Um, by no means is it perfect. It's been sitting for a couple years, you know, um, but it definitely cleaned up a lot better than I thought. The back half of the car is way cleaner than the front. So the back half of the car looks pretty much perfect, dude. You know, like there's no real scratches or anything. The paint's just, you know, it's been sitting for a long time. So there's like, you know, that's just like, all dirt embedded in the paint so like a little polish correction you know buff action get this thing back to looking mint take this scratch right out i'm gonna get this quarter panel painted right here and probably the door we'll see um but overall dude what a transformation you know i'm probably gonna reuse most of this stuff probably to get the hood painted get a new bumper get that painted get the quarter panel painted buff the headlights so should come back to life um this side of the car is really good you know it doesn't need any paint on this side really just maybe the fender so i might do like a front clip paint bumper hood you know fenders this door is a lot cleaner quarter panel is good there's one little ding here but that's literally it um back half of the car is absolutely perfect cleaned up really nicely super stoked with it honestly um yeah i don't even know what to say at this point it's car cleaned up really well there was like a lot of little like i don't know let me see if i can find it there's like little specks like i was talking about before where they're just like really embedded like there's one right there i don't know if you can see it they're like it's like almost glued into the into the whatever it touches you know so i've been power washing it for hours trying to get it clean came out really well the clear is kind of faded on here but the paint should still be good 
Um, yeah, the car is really hot today. It's, it's like 92. I have the day off of work. It's a Wednesday. It's for the holiday, Juneteenth. But um, it's dummy hot today. I'm probably not going to be out here too much longer. I just couldn't wait to see this thing actually not filthy. So um, let me turn this water off. I'll show you guys a little more of the inside of the car. I'll give you a few more details on it. And then uh, we'll wrap it up. All right, so a little more information on the car. 0506 Type S, uh, two owner, 177,000 miles. Engine has 60 something K on it. Uh, done, I think Raceland coilovers, it's pretty slammed. Let's see what else. All original paint. Uh, I think he, besides right here, I think he said he might have tried to repaint this himself or something and that's why it's coming out crappy. Um, original interior smells horrid so i'm not gonna be sitting in there i'm gonna let this thing air out all day long it smells horrid uh, i gotta pull the seats pull the center console pull the carpet power wash the carpet or use the spare one i got in the shed just wipe down all the glass on the inside clean out the interior because it smells bad um gotta put the battery on the trickle charger super dead then we'll see if the car has a draw because the guy previous owner said that there's a draw on the power supply system i would assume it's because of something to do with this amp back here i don't think this is even oh it is plugged in that's horrible uh, so i gotta look into this wiring here i mean he left literally just whatever was in the back of this thing in here you know he didn't clean it or nothing um i told him i would just take it how, how it sits so a couple goodies it's got k pro and it came with a uh, 0204 type s ecu so i think he just took the internals and swapped them i'm not sure i gotta look into that more but it's got a k pro in it 0506 uh head unit all the door speakers are done because they bump i turned the car on earlier and i just heard it bumping so i know for a fact that it's got some sort of like sound system in it or it used to so that's probably why the why there's like a hum when the radio is powered up it's got like an electrical line so definitely some ground issue somewhere um what else it's got a cat back stock header stock cat heat shield it's all there the clutch feels great um the oil looked good i gotta check the coolant it's probably not in the best shape because it hasn't been running forever so let me look at this coolant quick um yeah the coolant looks brown it's not good so, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to drain the coolant and put new coolant in it and bleed the system because that looks terrible. So it has a RBC intake manifold. I think this is a stock throttle body, engine, cold air intake, coils. I got to see if the back has camber arms. I doubt it. It's got some sort of aftermarket LED headlights. Um, what else? Yeah, other than that, it's pretty much stock, you know, super stock. I feel like it might have some motor mounts in it because it vibrates a lot. Let me check here. Um, no, that looks like a OEM mount. Actually, no, it's not. That's not an original mount. I can't read what it says on it, but it says V, V something mount, VE mounts. So definitely aftermarket mount there. Um, I can't really see the one in the front, but... That looks either original or aftermarket. Let's see over here. That looks OEM. Then we'll go to the one in the back. I can't really see it, so that looks OEM probably. Uh, I'm pretty sure these coilovers are shot. Not sure, but like that looks like it's all separated right there. So coilovers are probably not in the best condition, but you know they're race land so i'm i don't plan on going too crazy with this i'll probably just leave it on the coilovers that it has on it i'm just gonna raise the height because it's like super slammed for shits and giggles i might um just put these wheels on this car just to see how it looks you know uh because i used to have a nhbp with these wheels on there so that was like my first car it was black with those wheels it was an 0204 though so let me get out of the sun i'm dying um yeah that's pretty much the car you know i got a good deal on it, it didn't run when i got it and now it runs 
Uh, I can see the fog light wiring dangling down there. So it needs a bumper, buff the headlights. It needs a little bit of paint, oil change, coolant flush, probably some spark plugs. Um, probably bleed the clutch too, just to be safe. Put some wiper blades on it, clean the inside of it, get the smell out of it because it smells horrible. And then, um, yeah, do a, a buff, wet sand buff. And just clean up the small details on it and post it for sale you know i don't plan on keeping it i already have a red one and i have this gray one um the gray one needs a rack power steering rack i think and the ac doesn't work so i gotta figure out what's going on with that thing but the black car same thing well not the same thing the ac doesn't work but the rack is fine in that car so nothing like too too much you know I, I might fix the ac in the black one before i sell it but uh the it drives fine i drove it around the block runs good Do, i'll get rid of the uh nasty coolant that's in there bleed the system maybe do like a little wiper delete in the back but who knows you know just some tasteful stuff i might put like a type s badge on it in the back just so like people can see that it's a type s um just little things that might help it sell you know people like seeing type s badges on the car clean up the inside of it but i'm not going to do too much tomorrow today it's like getting really hot it's like, i think it's almost at 93 now so i just wanted to do that quick show you guys this new project we got going on going to be doing a restoration partial restoration on it you know i think it's got good pads and rotors they're just super crusty from sitting so clean those up and then ship her out so if you guys are interested in the car following the journey you know if you actually do want to buy it when it ends up being done here's all the information on it you know so you guys have whatever you want to know the full documentation will be here excited i can't seem to stay away from these things you know I don't, it is what it is but i hope you guys enjoyed the little cleanup of this car the wash please like comment subscribe and stay tuned to see the mess of the progress on this car and how I transform it over the coming month. Cause I don't plan on keeping it super long, but I want to make sure that it looks nice and it's done right before I sell it. So please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.